Maneuver 1. Although it looks simple, there are a number of things that work with these. Demonstrating just two maneuvers from an advanced explosive strength stack set. These two maneuvers here target specifically the chest and supportive force couples, relevant to bass sports and overhead throwers. During maneuver one, I purposefully decay from moderate elbow flex ion to severe flowing has maximal activation of the tricep, forcing controlled cyclical tensioning of my rotator cuff through iterative stancing using muscles to adjust posture to optimize efficiency for my current state of fatigue, namely the deltoid group, latissimus, X, forearms, rectus, toe plantar flex ion, mostly the bulk of frontal musculature, inducing neuromuscular overload and gradual loss of mechanical advantage. Challenging the strength phenomena of eccentric loading, I can stay off local fatigue by realigning my body, managing diaphragmatic breath work and increasing the amplitude of the bar's vertical movement oscillation, giving me just enough time between movements to benefit from recovery as I near the end of the single 30-second repetition. Bar oscillation is commonly observed in Olympic and powerlifting and can be leveraged to facilitate recovery. This is also and often overlooked part of the training effect. Power plate setting, 50 hertz, amplitude high, timer 30, sec. The second clip switches the focus to a narrower, faster striation path of muscle. It is much faster, boasts a longer stroke, compared to maneuver one, and like the power plate maneuver, is a full body controlled scripted movement. Maneuver two. The height of the overhead NB release, final angle of back flex ion, and delivery die and head tracking of the release point collectively contribute to a reduction of shoulder capsule strain and an increase in maximal explosive force production, with minimal distance traveled, limiting the release point forces and immediate slowing of trunk momentum to maintain optimal balancing. This maneuver promotes maximal strength and optimizes safety by elimination of protraction at the maximum flex ion angle. In this instance, I separate focused work on dynamic protraction in separate maneuvers, often on different work days. This dynamic posturing increases dynamic efficiency of the larger eccentric decelerators of the shoulder and upper back. The benefits of a higher release, eliminates interference with the knee, reduces strain on the abromial process of the shoulder, reduces neck strain, and is a safer maneuver for individuals presenting limited ROM of the low back. Load, 4 pounds. The contrast and narrow muscular demand between the first and second clip contributes to favorable systemic adaptations for definition and desired functional control.